To Cape Town now, rising young stars of the Cape Town City Ballet are set to take center stage in the classic and comic ballet Capelia at Artscape in Cape Town. The story features the likes of an inventor, very similar to the nutty professor, Dr. Capelius, who creates a life like a dancing doll. Directed by Professor Elizabeth Trichardt and choreographed by principal dancers in Cape Town City Ballet, Robin van Veek, the comic ballet offers an entertaining show for all ages. To tell us more about the production is two of Capelia dancers, uh, Cleo Ames and Martin Milner. They join us from our Cape Town studio. Guys, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, we'll try. Let's try and get that audio uh, just sorted out there. But clearly, let's start with you. Uh, I try to give away as, li as little as possible in the introduction. But for many people that are not familiar with this production, why is this a must-see? Tell me about this production. Um, well, Capelia is one of the most famous comedy ballets in the world. Um, and it's filled with so many different characters. Um, the three main characters are... Um, Swinhilda, Franz, uh, my partner, and uh, Dr. Capelius, as you mentioned, who creates the doll called Capelia. And it's incredibly funny, it's family friendly, um, it's perfect for children, and um, there's just so many um, funny, comical scenarios and situations between the characters. Um, and plus, it's just filled with so much dancing. So it's there for people who enjoy comedy and a good story, as well as um, the, the ballet lovers who enjoy, um, you know, good classical ballet. So, yeah, it's perfect for everyone. Martin, I'm going to ask a very stupid question. There's not a lot of people who are used to okay. ballet and think of comedy in the same way. As a, as a structured principal dancer, just how funny are you? Uh, <laughs> I try to be as funny as possible all the time. I feel like I'm put on the spot. I should do some stand-up or something. No, but it's kind of a, it's a, it's a very um, specific type of humour. And I feel you have to come and see it to find out if you like it. But guys, we are, we are reconnecting with ballet and, and we, are, we are finding different forms of, of dance exciting. South African audiences seem to be going back to theatre. What is it about uh, ballet and, and what is it about that this new crop is bringing to that something that's been around for hundreds of years that is exciting the audiences again? Well, I think this one's super exciting because it has such a strong, vivacious female lead. So I think it's a really nice one to bring young girls to, personally. Yeah, and for you, Cleo... And that's why I think it's quite exciting at the moment. And for you, Cleo... Well, I mean, um, uh, ballet is obviously the purest form of dance. It's um, Classical dance is so pure. And I think it's important, I mean, of course, contemporary and jazz and hip hop, you know, it's important to uh, be exposed to that kind of dance as well. But classical ballet, as I said, is, is the purest form. And as Martin said, I think it's um, good for young children to be exposed to that kind of dance because ballet offers you so much in terms of um, the way you carry yourself, um, your posture, your grace. Um, it teaches you musicality, how to work with other people. So this ballet being in its um, purest form it is just, yeah, is the perfect ballet for people to come and see, as well as uh, the perfect storyline. It's intensely, uh, intensely uh, like, athletic as yeah. well. Like, artistic and athletic at the same time. Yeah, I want to throw this question at both of you because, uh, you know, for, uh, many people this morning are going to see you for the first time, but they, but they know the work of Robin van Veek and they, and they know the work yes. of uh, uh, Professor Elizabeth Trichard. What, what is it like working with, with those kind of people, people that, have, that, are, that obviously have cre created something that is magical, that you guys have to interpret <laughs> and, and kind of share that experience? What is the, what is the challenge been like working with those two? Well, I only going to consider to be perfectionist in many ways. Well, um, I don't think it's been a challenge. It's, um, I, I've worked with uh, both uh, Professor Trichard and Robin van Veek um, for a long time. Um, so I think working with them has been um, incredibly helpful and exciting because from every person that I work with um, who have been in my shoes and who have had a career in, in ballet, I try and take as much away from them as I can, from any person directing me or giving me corrections. Um, so it's been, it's always exciting getting 
um, informa different information from each person I work with because every teacher, every director will give you something different. So um, I love working with both of them and they both give me um, different things and they both challenge me in, in different ways. So um, as an artist, you can grow in that way by taking something, uh, yeah. something little from, from every person that comes to coach you. And for you, Martin? Um, I just, I love how um, approachable they are, personally. I've never been in a situation before where my boss is someone that you can quite openly talk to. So there's, there seems to be no barrier, which is really nice when you're working on something yeah. that's so intimate. They can say, no, this is awful. Do this better. Oh, that's okay. Try hard. You know, so it's, it's a nice working atmosphere. Humor. Yeah, um, exactly, actually. Okay, so the time has come for us to, to sell this production. We want as many people to come to the Artscape, to come and check it out. We want yes. families to bring their little ones. We want you to bring your enemy to come and watch this. Maybe it'll bring you together. Uh, talk to me about what are we going to experience? When, when is the first production? How much ticket prices are going for? All of that kind of stuff. Well, I think I'll take this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The first production is on the 25th in the evening. Um, at Artscape Opera House, and the tickets are really, really quite cheap. I think it's 110 rand, which is, I mean, you can accidentally spend more on like biltong or something. So it's, <laughs> it's I mean, I have, you know, I mean, which is fine because it was delicious, but so that's why I think you should definitely come. So 25th in the evening, that's our first show. Yeah, and it runs till the 29th of May at Artscape, and you can book tickets at CompuTicket or Artscape Dial a Seat. Guys, thank you very much for joining us from our Cape Town studios. That was Cleo Ames and Martin Milner, two of the dancers of the production titled Capilio, which is set to take place at the Artscape Theatre in Cape Town. Uh, our first music guest.